everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with some bulk filming, so get ready to see this face a whole, whole bunch. But uh, yeah, what are you going to do? I have time right now and I'm going to film a whole bunch of stuff for you. So I'm going to start off today with a tag video. I was tagged by the lovely, amazing, beautiful Pixie Zariah Rose in the book recommendations tag. This is an original tag by her. It's super, super easy. I think there's only four questions. I will have them listed down below for you. She tagged a whole bunch of people, but I am going to tag some more at the end of this video. So stay tuned. What we have here are four questions. They're all kind of recommendations. And and she said you can do this as many times as you want. You can redo it over and over again because the questions can change and you can keep talking about more books that you like. I will be having more recommendations coming up in the new year here uh, that I'm really excited about, but we're going to start off with this one. The first question is recommend a book that you read in the last two months that you really loved. This one was hard, so I picked two different ones. First up is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, which is not a new book at all but I really, really loved it. There are characters in this that are deeply unlikable. There is a love interest that like I'm not, sh I don't think I enjoy, but the main character of this, Stargirl, well, she's not the main character, I guess, but Stargirl is just a precious little angel that I wanna love and protect forever and ever and ever. Amen. It is about a girl who is homeschooled and then she goes to a public school and she is just this unique, bright, beautiful soul and the other people try to like make her conform you know she's she's a novelty for a little while and then they start getting annoyed with her she wants to have this new relationship and he's a little bit embarrassed about her and she starts to try to change to like fit their norms and it's beautiful and heartbreaking and amazing i have book two uh which is love star girl and i will be reading that soon because i just I love Stargirl. And then also I'm throwing on there The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. This one was gifted to me by Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads and she really, really loved it. I didn't think I was going to. It took me a little while to get into it, but oh my goodness, guys, once I did, it was so good. And I ended up crying. I ended up with like all the feels. It was amazing. It's about this small little Alaskan town and just how removed and remote they are and these different children's lives and how they all kind of weave together. It was, it was really, really good. I liked it. It was an emotional one, but it was a, it was a quick read. You know, neither one of these are very large books, but I think they both packed a very emotional punch and a great message. And I liked them both. And they didn't have to be these giant epic, you know, worlds to really move me and make them stick with me. So I liked both of those in the last two months. Number two is to recommend an old favorite. I could say Lord of the Rings. I could say the Hollow series. I could say Harry Potter. I could say a ton of things that you guys hear me talk about all the time, the labyrinth, but I'm not. I'm going to go with one that I was actually just gifted for Christmas and that I will be rereading in 2018. And that is the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa. I know she also has like a dragon series, Talon, like the Talon series. And I've read books one and two of that. And I don't think I'm going to continue. This is a series about Fae that I read a long time ago, like so long ago. But I remember absolutely loving. So I'm really looking forward to reading this in 2018 and seeing what I think about it now. And I hope it holds up. But this was an absolute old favorite that I hope you'll be hearing about soon on my channel in wrap ups because I definitely want to see what I think about it now. I try guys, I try to give you new content and not repeat the same books over and over again. I really do. And then number three is to recommend a nonfiction book. And while I do have a whole bunch of those that I read, a lot of them are like celebrity memoirs or celebrity books. And I don't normally recommend those because they're pretty specific to different people's preferences in terms of personalities and things like that. So I'm going to go with a couple of like reference books and like self-helpy kind of books. And I have a ton of those in my library, mainly in this drawer behind me for writing. But... I really do enjoy them, so I'm gonna go ahead and recommend a couple right now. So the first one is Stephen King's On Writing. I have not finished this by any means, but I love any book on writing. So quite frankly, big fan of this. Actually, Mary E. Pearson just did a whole Instagram story where she talked about a ton of books that really helped her in her writing process, how to develop plot and things like that. So I'm probably gonna be picking some of those up soon if I can find them like used in different places because I love having a library of books on craft, on my craft, which is writing. Um, 
and I like having those just on hand to kind of pick and choose what works for me and to learn from and I think that especially in writing when so much is about growth and learning what works and what works for you and what you enjoy doing and how you like your characters and plot to go it's something that you can continue to learn at forever. So I like to teach myself. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and this is by Stephen R. Covey. This is uh, Powerful Lessons in Change, and I read through this forever ago. I just, I think that having something like this, um, especially now working from home and being here all day long and having to commit myself to editing and writing and YouTube and different things that I'm passionate about. Being self-motivated, being a self-starter, staying on track as a person, as a human, when I feel like I might be lacking something by not having like a job that I leave the house for and wanting to make sure that I stay accountable and motivated and effective. I like reading things like this. I also have The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. Number four is the last question of this tag. It's super easy, guys. And that one is to recommend a book that will help people escape. And for this, I have a couple different options because we all need to escape sometimes. And first up is I Hate Fairyland. And this one is by Scotty Young. This is a series of graphic novels. I think there's only three editions out about Gertrude who goes into a fairyland portal at the age of six or seven and her goal while she's there is to find her key and go back home and in the meantime kind of enjoy this fantasy land and that usually takes a day or two for most kids but Gertrude has been there for I think 30 years so she's a 37 year old woman in a six year old seven year old's body it's not going well for her she's losing her dang mind and she just wants out she just wants home but in the meantime she's unapologetically murderous and gruesome and angry and bitter and I can see how that would be really frustrating to have a mature mind in a child's body stuck in this fantastical fairyland when all you want to do is go home and you're seeing all these other people kind of come and go and you're just stuck there so this one is really funny it's gruesome and graphic but it is really just sarcastic and amusing I really enjoyed it it was a great escape for me and I binge read all three of those in like no time the sweep series which I read this past year and really enjoyed this one is about witches but it's set in our world so it's not like a full fantasy high fantasy novel and it is really short this is book one they do come in bind ups and each one of these is so, so quick to read. The audiobook, I listened to the first like six in audiobook form. And at double speed, it was like an hour, hour and 15 minutes for each book. It was so much fun. And I have not finished this series yet, but I hope to. And I really did enjoy it. So this one by Kate Tiernan is a great escape if you're looking for um, just like a reality-based fantasy about witches. Go for it. And then last but not least is the Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. And this is Beneath the Sugar Sky, which is my arc. I've got my hardcover come and signed, and I'm excited about it. This entire series is a portal fantasy series about children that go to other worlds, and then they get kicked out of those worlds back to our world, and they cannot, like, cope with being here. So they end up at a school um, for Wayward Children. Have to kind of adapt to being here, but they're also kind of, like, low-key all looking for their door back to the worlds that they were in. And it is diverse and beautiful and richly written, and the world building is fantastic for these little short novellas style books. The other ones are up here. Um, but the whole ones, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, uh, Every Hearted Doorway, and this one, Every Hearted Doorway, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and Beneath the Sugar Sky are fantastic. They're a great escape. They're dark, but they're not like, you know, fluffy, but they're a great escape and you can kind of lose yourself in another world for a little while. And I really, really love them. So those are all my recommendations for this book recommendations video. Thank you so much, Soraya, for tagging me. I'm going to tag a couple people right now. I'm just going to look at her video and make sure that she hasn't uh, tagged these particular people. But I do not see Allie from Hardback Hoarder on here, so I'm going to tag her. Elliot from Elliot Brooks. I do not see Jashana from Jashana C. I will tag both of them. I also do not see Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5. I also don't see Jay from the Awkward Bookworm on here, so I will tag all of them, as well as Julia Sapphire, because I don't see her either. So all of you are tagged. It's a sh super short video to have to film, but it does give you guys some recommendations that hopefully you can enjoy. I hope you've liked this video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, click that little notification bell too, so you know when I post new videos, and I will see all of you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.